بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه يدمعين Dear viewers in Islam, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In our last episode, we have taken one of the similitudes in verse number 19 and 20 of Surah Al-Baqarah, the second surah of Al-Quran. And in that similitude or parable, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the picture of hypocrites. Those hypocrites who got moments of faith inspiring them, moments of hypocrisy when they lag behind, go behind. And there, very beautifully it is said that whenever they see the light, in that light they step forward, they try to walk into Islam, but when their doubts, their infidelity, their hypocrisy overcome them, then they stand still. So it means that when they got the light, they step forward. No light, darkness, they stand still. That would be the same picture on the Day of Judgment. Very beautifully explained in Surah Al-Hadid. In Surah Al-Hadid, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has mentioned about the very same thing that what is happening to the believers that they walk in the light and the hypocrites, they walk into the light but the difference between the hypocrites and the believers is that hypocrites, whenever their light is taken away, they stand still because they are in darkness. Now this is the picture which is given in Surah Al-Hadid in verse number 12. Let me read those verses. A'udhu billahi min shaytani rajeeb يَوْمَ تَرَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ يَسْعَى نُورُهُمْ بَيْنَ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَبِأَيْمَانِهِمْ بُشْرَاكُمُ الْيَوْمْ جَنَّاتٌ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْحَارُ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا ذَلِكَ هُوَ الْفَوْزُ الْعَظِيمُ On that day you will see the believing men and believing women how their rights is running forward them, before them, and by their right hand. And it is said to them, good news for you, good news for you this day, gardens beneath the rivers flow, to dwell therein forever. This is indeed the highest achievement. Now see how the believers are described, that their light would be flowing in front of them and uh, on their right. And this is how they are walking in, in that day which is known as the day of resurrection, Al-Mahshar. On the very same spot, there are the hypocrites and they are described like this. يَوْمَ يَقُولُ الْمُنَافِقُونَ وَالْمُنَافِقَاتُ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا انظُرُونَا نَقْتَبِسْ مِن نُورِكُمْ قِيلَ ارْجِعُوا وَرَاءَكُمْ فَالْتَمِسُوا نُورًا فَضُرِبَ بَيْنَهُمْ بِالسُّورٍ لَهُ بَابٍ بَاطِنُهُ فِيهِ الرَّحْمَةِ وَظَاهِرُهُ مِنْ قِبَنِهِ الْعَظَابِ يُنَادُونَهُمْ أَلَمْ نَكُمْ مَعَكُمْ قَالُوا بَلَى وَلَكِنَّكُمْ فَطَنْتُمْ أَنفُسَكُمْ وَتَرَبَّصْتُمْ وَارْتَبْتُمْ وَغَرَّتْكُمُ الْأَمَانِيُّ حَتَّى جَاءَ أَمْرُ اللَّهِ وَغَرَّكُمْ بِاللَّهِ الْغَرُورِ Very beautiful, very beautiful description. The day the hypocrites, men and women, they would be saying to the believers, انظروناً, wait for us, نَقْتَبِسْ مِنْ نُورِكُمْ Can we take some of your light? Give us some of your light. And it would be said to them, قِيلَ ارْجِعُوا وَرَاءَكُمْ فَالْتَمِسُوا نُورًا Go back and try to find out your light by yourselves. And at that time, a wall is going to be placed between them, the hypocrites and the believers. بَاطِنُهُ فِيهِ rahma. Inside of that wall is the mercy where the believers are. Outside that wall is al-adhab, the agony, the pain, the suffering where the disbelievers and the hypocrites are. 
يُنَادُونَهُمْ أَلَمْ نَكُمْ مَعَكُمْ Now these munafiqeen hypocrites, they are crying to the believers, saying to them, أَلَمْ نَكُمْ مَعَكُمْ Were we not with you? We were attending uh, Friday prayers with you. We were attending wedding ceremonies with you. We were always with you. Then why we are treated differently now? In this, uh, today, Kalu Bala, the believer would say, Bala, yes, yes, you were with us, Walakin, Walakinnakum Fatantum Anfusakum. But the difference is that you have put yourself to trials. Fatantum Anfusakum. You have led, led away with your temptations. Watarabbastum. And you looked for the ruin of the believers. وَارْتَبْتُمْ You doubted the promises of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَغَرَّتْكُمُ الْأَمَانِ And the false desires deceived you حَتَّى جَاءَ أَمْرُ اللَّهِ Until the last commandment of Allah came وَغَرَّكُمْ بِاللَّهِ الْغَرُورِ And the deceiver has deceived you about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Who is that deceiver? Satan Satan has deceived you So what is going to happen to you today? فَالْيَوْمَ لَا يُخَذُ مِنْكُمْ فِذْيَةٌ وَلَا مِنَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مَعْوَاكُمُ النَّارِ هِيَ مَوْلَاكُمْ وَبِئْسَ الْمَصِيرِ That day, nothing is going to be accepted from you. No ransom from you or from the disbelievers. Your abode is hellfire. And وَبِئْسَ الْمَصِيرِ And it is a very bad end which is going to happen to you. So what I was uh, saying here, that on the day of judgment, same thing is going to be repeated. The hypocrites, they will be looking for light. For light. So, when the light uh, is taken away from them, they will stand still. But they will see the believers that still they got the light. And according to the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, on the day of judgment, every believer would have a light in front of him so he can walk his way in that light and this light is going to be according to the actions the belief at that person the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said and some believers they got their light like a palm tree a palm tree it means that the light is very very long and very big and some they got the light according to their own size some, the light just half of their size. Some, the light just equal to the thumb. This is going to happen to the believers. But anyhow, the believers, they got the light. And uh, in that light, they are crossing, even uh, uh, they, they, they are crossing the bridge upon the fire as well. So what is going to happen that the disbelievers and the munafiqeen hypocrites, they will lag behind because their light has been taken away from them. They got no more light at all. So at that spot they would cry to the believers asking them, Unzuruna, Unzuruna, just wait for us, wait for us. Naktabis min nurikum, let us take away some of your light. No, on that day you can't, you can't give light to someone else. That is in this world that that, that was your duty to benefit from the light of revelation, but you did not benefit. So on that day it is said to them, قِيلَ ارْجِعُوا وَرَاءَكُمْ فَالْتَمِسُوا نُورًا It would be said to them, go back and find out your light by yourselves. And after that, after this saying, what is going to happen? At once a wall has been fixed between the believers and the munafiqin. Now because of that wall, some people are left on the other side of the wall, which is here described as the inside of the wall, and some outside the wall. Those who are inside the wall, بَاطِلُهُ فِيهِ rahma, There is the mercy, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is the place where the believers are. And those people who are left out, they are in al-awab, in the punishment, in the suffering of that day, that horrible day. Now there is a dialogue which is given here. The munafiqeen people, they are shouting to the believers saying, Yunadunahum, they are shouting to them, 
alam nakum maakum are we not are we were we not with you were we not with you in this world we were always with you we were as i said earlier that we used to attend the prayer with you we used to attend so many so many events with you but the charges which are leveled against them on that day the believers would say to them yes you were with us but not with your souls not with your hearts not with your ambitions not with your aspirations you they would say to them walakinnakum fatantum anfusakum you have exposed yourself to fitna what is fitna fitna is a trial sometimes this trial comes from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the believers to test them to to try them and sometimes you yourself put yourself to fitna how you are led to the temptations you are following your own lust and desires you are not controlling your eyes you are not controlling your tongue you are not controlling your hands you are not controlling your feet you are just following your own desires this what happened to to many people and this is known as fitna walakinnakum fatantum anfusakum there is this trial of money wealth to acquire more and more wealth to pile up gold and silver and that is a fitna that is the fitna of money and then there is uh, so many types of other fitna fitna of uh, of of uh, you can say the status some people they are after their status and this is why they would do anything to get a high job in the state or uh, in the society so these are the types of fitna which is mentioned here wala kinnakum fatantum anfusakum but you have you have exposed yourself to many types of fitna and trials and then wa tarabbastum tarabbastum you look forward to our ruin it means that they were not sincere they were not sincere to the muslims they were just uh, waiting for them if they are victorious yes they are with them if they are defeated they are going to say oh this is because of you because of your islam you are defeated that is the mentality of these people who are not deep rooted into islam walakinnakum fatantum anfusakum wa tarabbastum wartabtum and you got doubts you got uh, no conviction in the promises of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you always got doubt and iman means that you must not have any doubt at all what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised is going to happen and then these people they are led by their lust and desire and they remain there until the death came to them and they were deceived by the satan so this is a very beautiful description of munafiqeen in this world and in the hereafter and with this we come to the end of this session assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh